beach is empty, deserted. An ideal place for an enemy landing, if there were no army to stop him. From their operational station, army units carry out constant patrols, keep a constant watch over New Zealand's lengthy coastline. These men lived in this country in peacetime. They know the country and they know the coast. Now they look at it from a different point of view. They see it through the eyes of men who must be ready to fight in it and for it. Beyond them, the sea. Behind them, their own country, their homes, their farms. It would not be easy for the enemy. This was an occasion for the three services. The army supplied the guard of honor, his excellency himself represented the air force, and the ceremony was to launch another minesweeper for the navy. His Excellency congratulated the men who had built her. With a bottle of New Zealand wine, Lady Newell christened the new ship Aroha. This was more than an occasion for the three services. It was an achievement of three countries. English draftsmen had supplied the plans, Australian workers had forged the steel, and New Zealand men had built her. The first of our steel vessels, she goes down to the sea to help her sister ships. Others will soon follow. The gulls welcome her to her new element and the launchers help her towards the fitting out wall. And the workmen look with pride on their own good work. Ever been skating? It's grand fun. Look how easy it is and how graceful. These soldiers thought they'd try it, a pleasant change from the hard knocks of army training. Some used dummy partners, others, this chap was independent. The other people could skate, well, he could skate too. Perhaps it would help to use his hands as well. Here's a friend to lend a hand. Oops. Too bad. Never mind, let's get up and try again. Oh well, perhaps it's easier to watch someone else.